Number 37 on the College Algebra Final Exam Review for ULR. Uh, another rational function says consider the following c of x, 2x plus 3 over x plus 2. State the domain of the function. Remember, like we said before, that the domain is everything except what makes the denominator 0. So we're going to set x plus 2 equals 0 and solve that. Get x equals negative 2. That's what cannot be in the domain of our function. So every real number except negative 2. That's the domain. Identify all x-intercepts, all intercepts, x and y-intercepts. Remember, x-intercepts happen when the y value is zero, so when the numerator of the function is zero, but the denominator is not, so we're going to set the numerator equals zero. When we subtract three and divide by two, we get x equals negative three halves. So that's going to be negative three halves zero, <clears throat> or negative 1.5, zero. Then the wire set, we're going to plug in zero. So this is going to be C of zero. So that's going to be two times zero plus three and zero plus two. So the wire set is going to be three halves. So that's going to be the point zero, three halves. Or you could have put 1.5. Finding vertical and horizontal asymptotes. Oh, I hate it when it does this. Horizontal asymptotes, again, the degrees are both one, numerator and denominator, so it's going to be leading coefficient over leading coefficient. The horizontal asymptotes are going to be two over one. That's y equals two over one, or just two. The vertical asymptote is going to come from when the denominator is zero, but not the numerator. So again, x plus two, you set it equals zero and solve, you get x equals negative two is going to be our vertical asymptote. We're going to graph this one now and see which one of these graphs will coincide with it. So I'm going to get the calculator. Graph y equals, looks like the window is the same as what we had before. So I'm going to put the numerator in parentheses because more than just one term, 2x plus 3 divided by x plus 2. and graph. So now we'll go and see if we can match that with one of the graphs. This looks like it could be it right here. Let's double check and make sure. I believe that's going to be it. So that's how we do number 37.